What's going on everybody? Back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Netgear AC750 Wi-Fi range extender. So what this does, if you're somebody like myself that has very spotty Wi-Fi coverage in different areas of your home, especially basements and areas that are further away from your Wi-Fi router, this will take your current Wi-Fi signal and basically duplicate it and boost it, giving you better coverage throughout your entire house. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get it set up and pair it up with your router. And then I'm gonna give you guys a little review and uh, you know my thoughts and my experiences with it. So, so again, the Netgear AC750. Uh, I paid about 50 bucks for it at Best Buy. They have some cheaper ones out there, um, but I didn't wanna get the cheapest one. I wanted to get one that was gonna be decent. And this one had really good reviews. Uh, so that's why I went with it. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on into the whole setup process. So when you take the Wi-Fi extender out of the box, you'll simply plug it into a wall outlet and you'll see the orange light come on. That basically means it's just booting up and getting ready. And then once it's ready, it should turn green. So we're just gonna wait for that light to turn green. So now that the light has turned green, that means it's ready to pair up with your router. So what you'll wanna do is go to your router and find the button marked WPS, it stands for Wi-Fi Protective Setup, and you'll wanna press that and hold it. So basically this allows you to connect different devices to your router without having to enter a password and everything. And then after that, you'll go to the extender and press this second triangle button. And then you'll see the light start beeping there. So that means it's trying to pair up with your router. So while that light is blinking, that simply means it's trying to connect with your router. If it does connect, that light should go solid and stop blinking. So unfortunately for me, that did not work. It may have been an issue with my router. So what I'll have to do is set it up manually, uh, which I'll show you how to do that here now. So you'll need to get on your computer and scan for Wi-Fi networks and connect to the extender. Uh, it should say next gear ext and then this should automatically open up here um, if it doesn't open up you'll need to open an internet browser and type in my wi-fi ext.net and then uh, you will be asked to create an account um, so you'll just go through that process create a username uh, password pretty customary steps for creating an account for anything online It'll also ask you for like some security questions and everything, so you can go ahead and come up with some of those uh, in case you get locked out of the account at any point. So after that, it's going to go ahead and scan for your Wi-Fi networks. And then um, once it finishes that, you should be able to select which ones you wanna pair the extender with. So you're just gonna check the box there. and then we're gonna hit next um, and then it's gonna ask you for your current Wi-Fi password so that it can pair it with the extender and then we'll hit next after that and then here you can create a specific name for the extender network so that you'll know exactly which one to connect to um, later on so after that you can go ahead and scan for Wi-Fi networks again and uh, make sure that the extender network is showing up so I didn't create a unique name I just left it my original Wi-Fi network name and then it has ext on the end so that's how I know the difference between the you know the different networks and then I left my password the same as my original Wi-Fi network so I just put that in there and then uh, it's pretty much good to go. So once the Wi-Fi extender has successfully paired up with your Wi-Fi network, you will see the two lights at the top turn green. And now we can unplug the Wi-Fi extender and put it wherever our Wi-Fi signal is weak. For me, that's gonna be the basement. All right, so here I am in my basement. I got my brand new 75 inch TV mounted on the wall. And as you can see, my regular Wi-Fi signal is very weak down here. It's only got two bars, so streaming and everything is terrible. The quality looks terrible, and I 
I really wasn't sure what I was going to do. And I'll actually, I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like with the signal this week. It's, I mean, you can't even watch the TV. So you can see it's very choppy. I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if it looks as bad on camera as it does in person, but it's, it's pretty bad. You can see how pixelated it is. And even like switching back and forth between apps, it's like super slow with the regular Wi-Fi connection. So now I plugged in the Wi-Fi extender down here in my basement and since we already paired it up with our router and everything, uh, we don't have to go through that process again. So once the pairing process has taken place, you can unplug the Wi-Fi extender whenever you want and just plug it in in a, in a new area and it's still going to go through its little booting up phase but as soon as uh, that's done, the light will turn green again and then you'll be good to connect to the extended Wi-Fi network. Okay, so as you can see, we got the green lights, so that means it has successfully picked up the Wi-Fi signal again, and we are ready to connect and see if it makes any difference with the TV. Oh, and if, if this light on the left side here, if that's ever red, then that means the extender did not pair with the Wi-Fi signal successfully. So that probably means you're too far away from your router, and you might have to pick a location or an outlet closer to your router so that the extender can pair with the, the Wi-Fi. But for me, I'm in a good location. It's close enough to the router that is picking it up. So let's go ahead and pair up the TV with the extended Wi-Fi network. All right, so we can see the regular Wi-Fi signal up top, the same two weak bars as before. And then underneath are the extended Wi-Fi signals see they have all five bars so we should get a much better connection and signal and much better quality while we're streaming content on the TV so let me go ahead and connect to the extended network extended signal whatever you want to call it So hopefully you guys can tell the difference on how much better the quality is. It's way clearer than it was on the original signal. And it's not all pixelated and everything. And even just switching through all the apps, you know, Netflix and all the different apps that we have, it's a lot more smooth and it's not all glitchy and slow. Um, so it definitely accomplished what we were looking for. Uh, and I'm super happy with it so far. Uh, you can imagine my frustration, brand new TV, you know, got it mounted and everything. I go to sit down and watch it and it looks like a Game Boy. So, um, but again, it's you can see much better, very clear, I'm happy with it. So yeah, yeah hopefully the picture quality translated on camera so you guys could see the level of difference in between, you know, the original Wi-Fi signal and the extended Wi-Fi signal and the impact that it had on the, you know, the picture quality on the TV. I hope you were able to see that. Um, I don't know, I couldn't tell while I was making the, uh, the video. So night and day difference, um, you know, even while I'm scrolling through my apps, you know, Netflix, my TV streaming apps, it was going way faster. Prior to, you know, getting this set up, they were lagging tremendously, they were glitching. Um, you know, it would take forever to load up, you know, anything on Netflix and it just it was not ideal at all so this definitely saved my life right now um, i can enjoy my tv the way it's supposed to be enjoyed and not have to worry about any uh any glitches so appreciate you guys for watching if this video was helpful make sure you hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel definitely more videos on the way until next time see you on the main